the first night two women ever officiated a state championship game in the state of Idaho. I think just we've set the bar for Idaho and it's an honor. I've been officiating for 26 years so um, you know doing this game is uh, something to put on my resume. It was an epic experience, something that I'll never forget. And for me, I've been working 11 years in Idaho and you know, we've watched these guys work these state championships and, and participated and sat here and, and got to be a part of it. But always had that hunger and mm -hmm. that desire. You know, you want to compete with the guys. You want to be able to run with the boys. And I think, you know, since we've been working together, whether it's a girls game or a guys game, I mean, the coaches have been good to us. The players are good. Kids tonight were awesome. We always are told to keep everything um, under the radar, as you said, because we, we go, go to social media and let you know people know where we're officiating. Um, we try to be as unbiased as we can so we don't get um, you know, accused of being a hometown ref. Um, so you know, we have to walk a fine line with keeping you know, professionalism there um, and so that it's always about the kids, just like we do on the court to go unnoticed. We wanted to go unnoticed sometimes a little about the history being made um, and keep it about the players and the game. We've known for about, um, I want to say, two weeks that we had this state championship game. And I've gotten more cell phone text messages and shout outs from my, you know, my, my coworkers with referees and with coaches, uh, with players just congratulating me and, and Andrea on this accomplishment before this game was ever even played. I mean, it's just been, you know, like paparazzi. I never thought I could be, you know, in the in the limelight as a referee. We, we always want to go unnoticed, yeah. but to uh, to get attention and be pioneers and a part of history is, is awesome.